everyone visit WinForce last year. Let's go through some uh, basic Windows RT uh, features. This here is the home screen. If you are already logged in or you don't have a password, uh, you'll see this screen and if you flick up from the bottom, you'll get your live tiles and this is similar across the board to uh, Windows Pro. Uh, this here is Windows RT, but you'll also see similar uh, Windows tiles on uh, the Windows Phone as well. So you can move them around, you can group them however you want. It's pretty cool and you can even move um, blocks around as well just by tapping and holding. Um, as you can see what I'm doing there. And then of course you can also just move the individual tile around as well. So that's that and if you flick from left to right you get your quick apps just by switching back like so. And there's a home button uh, in the middle here. Uh, bottom up will bring up the context or features or options for that specific app. In this case, I'm listing all the apps, not just uh, the live tiles. Uh, there's uh, Microsoft Office 2003, accessories, um, a bunch of other control stuff, panels, etc. Um, and then swiping from right to left will bring up search, share, your start window, uh, devices, and settings. So let's just walk through each one of them. This is search. Share, your start window, which is basically the live tiles, devices, thing, different uh, peripherals and whatnot that's connected to uh, this Surface RT, and last but not least, settings. In settings, you can uh, basically set do your settings for start tiles, and you'll see help, uh, connectivity, volume, your screen. Uh, brightness, notifications, power, your keyboard, and change your PC setting. So while we're here, just kind of take a look at different options here, I want to show you how to create a um, picture password. So let me hide your eyes for just a second. Okay, so here it is. You would basically select point A and point B, draw the line, and that's basically your uh, password. I don't have a lot, actually I don't have any pictures in my camera roll, so I'm just gonna pick this guy, and I'm gonna Use this picture. I'm going to draw from here to there. Start over. Didn't like that one. Down. And then one more time. And then one more time. It didn't like that, so let me try it again. Okay, so it's finished. So now what I'll do is, let's see here. I don't think it takes effect right away yet. Nope, but basically when it does, I would just draw the line uh, from where I had it down and that would just unlock for me. So I wanna visit the store really quick because that's kind of important to show you what apps are available. And there are Spotlight apps here, top free apps. There are 98 top free apps on this list. Surface Picks. Evernote is one of my favorite. Um, unfortunately, I uninstalled it because there was no way for me to lock the app down for security reasons. Um, so it's installing right now. 
eBay, and when it's done, you get a notification. Click on that, and it will bring up the app for you. Here, you can get account, sign in, or reset your password. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to come back, continue my walkthrough of the store, games, social. It's funny because I didn't see um, Facebook or Twitter app in here, the native copy, of course. Not a whole lot of social apps, about 86 compared to what's available on iOS. Entertainment. Netflix is my daughter's favorite. Photos, music video, sports, books, references, news, weather, bunch of other stuff here. Travel, and again, productivity, which we've already installed, Evernote, different tools. Um, let me give you a look at, let's see, where are you? OneNote. So this is kind of interesting because when you bring this up, it does kick you over to um, Windows RT side of the house where you've got um, kind of like your traditional Windows look and feel with the, with the bar at the bottom. So this here is one note for me. And basically if you've used one note before, this should feel you should feel right at home with this. And if I want to get back to where I was, it's that easy. Home. And I want to bring up, um, let's see here, PowerPoint. Just to show you the multitasking feature. And different options if you want to bring up Word. This is preview, so it's not the final version. Let's just bring something up here. Create. And there you have it. And paired with uh, a touch type or a type case keyboard, you should be good to go. Um, you can also, if you have a USB jump drive or um, a hard drive connected, you can basically browse through using the um, um, gosh the Explorer sorry here to look for different apps or files that uh, you want to transfer over so in this case see if there's any music no music video pictures this is where all my pictures are basically saved if I swipe up Nothing happens in this window, but if I do this, I can go back to my start. And here you see Evernote. Netflix is extremely nice on Surface RT. Every now and then I sort of lose connectivity though, and I just have to close the app and get out. And as you can see, my daughter's been watching Yo Gabba Gabba. And the weight is relatively normal for all devices, not just uh, Windows RT, or I'm sorry, Surface RT, depending on how fast your network is. So there you have it. Now the nice thing is, if I wanted to go back to the app that I was working on, I can do that. or. I can have two apps up at the same time. In this case, as you can see, watch and work at the same time. You see here? You basically pin two apps, close that, or I can watch it on a smaller screen and still work on this side. It's kind of cool. So basically you can still work and be entertained at the same time. You see that? 
see how it just resized that. And there is a minimum uh, display requirement on this 1330 uh, resolution, which is what uh, Service RT is. And then if you want to close it, you just do that. Let's take you home. There are other things that you can do. Um, this, once again, this, um, sorry, desktop. Let's go back here. Messaging. I don't have anything there. And of course, uh, if when you swipe up, you get all your options and whatnot. Let's go back. Oh, let's see here. If I were to pause this, you see you get your different options down here. And anytime you want, you get access to the menu on the right side. Home again. You have access to your SkyDrive. Maps. News. Powered by Bing, of course. And from here you can search. These are all trending. Slash here. Hey, what happened? There you go. And everything related to Slash Gear pops up nicely organized about Slash Gear, iPhone 5 review, and it just keeps on going and going and going. There are about two, one point something million results. I've got a couple of tabs already here. Let's say we look at the news for uh, everything related to Slash Gear. See, there, these are news results. It's kind of odd that this doesn't get updated for some weird reason. Sources, my news, you can pin, unpin. Let's see here, let's look at this guy. So what really drives me nuts about Windows RT is you gotta sit and wait for it to load up. Um, even though you've already opened it up once, it still needs to kind of contact the server to download the, uh, the news or the page or whatever. So it does slow things down a little bit on the load time. See that? This is still loading up here. So anyways, let's get out, get out of that. You get weather. This is the weather in Gilbert right now. Hourly. Maps. The forecast. Commercial. How appropriate. And then of course your calendar. So this is very much business ready. You can change to week view, day view, my pictures from Facebook for all the people that I am in contact with, what's new on Facebook. For my Facebook contacts, that's pretty. So you've, you're basically tied in immediately with people uh, interacting with this picture. And if I want to go back. All right, so that's enough of that. Let's get home. What else am I missing? My email, of course. I have 11 emails I haven't read. Music, I don't think I have anything in there right now. But let's go ahead and bring it up. And Xbox Music, now playing. You have your store. You can preview songs.
And while I'm doing this Spidey side, I want to do a little bit more work on Facebook. I can do that as well. Bring this up. See that? Let's get out of there. And of course, the music continues to play while I'm working. And this is, I believe, current news that we already looked at. We can skip that. Videos. So let's go back to music here. And that is basically it for that section of the walkthrough. Let's see, let's look at all apps. This is kind of cool because I can show you Notepad, something that you're probably very familiar with on Windows. You get paint, remote desktop, snipping tools, step recorder, Task Manager, Onboard, key, onboard Keyboard, a um, bunch of other options that you would normally get on a Windows uh, machine. And uh, let's see, is there anything else I'm missing? That's it for now. Thanks for watching this walkthrough of Windows RT. And this is Vincent Wynn for Slash Gear.